It's been a while since I've done one of these. We have a huge amount of comics to catch up on. These are my favorite comics from November 23rd. First up is Action Comics number 1049. Now this is all building to the return of Kal-El and his son in more traditional methods of people not knowing their identities, but I'm enjoying these last moments where the world knows them. It does feel like an end of an era, and I really like this return of Kal-El storyline. They're doing a great job with it. Dark Spaces number five is next. Now, I'm used to the more supernatural and cape stuff from Scott Snyder, so I was really impressed with this more grounded storyline. This is just a five-issue miniseries dealing with real firefighters, dealing with real problems, and also a money heist, and all sorts of almost possible plausible human hijinks. And I love the, the reality of this comic storyline. Oh man, what a book. Daredevil number five. Now, Chip Zdarsky's run on Daredevil is absolutely incredible, but when you've got this kind of art and you've got this much power in the story, this is building towards a very big climax. This is action. This is drama. This is so much guilt. This is everything I love about Daredevil. Chip Zdarsky's been killing this for years. This is an incredible issue. Department of Truth number 22. Now, this is one of my favorite comics in years. This is probably my favorite new comic since Saga. I talk about this one a lot. This one's a really personal issue. Our lead character has been pushed around. There's been a lot of stuff from both sides of this government conspiracy, but now it's coming to affect his husband, and there's uh, a very high stakes, so this is a good climax of the end of the penultimate issue at the end of an arc. Next up, we've got Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise number one. If you've never read Doctor Strange, check this book out. If you've never seen Tradmore's art, check this book out. This uh, Tradmore was, was made to illustrate Doctor Strange. This is psychedelic, this is trippy, this is weird. I think he's also handling the writing on it, so this is an insight into Tradmore's mind. Uh, this book was devastatingly awesome, and I think it's a miniseries, so it's an approachable run if you want to read some Doctor Strange. Harley Quinn number 24 is a blast. I love when Harley Quinn's fun. I love when Harley Quinn gets into hijinks. I love when there's also shades of multiversal flavor. This is uh, Into the Spider-Verse, Harley Quinn, Into the Quinverse book of the week human target number nine please do not end human target i love this book so very much this is maybe my favorite issue of batman well i don't want to give anything away but this uses batman in an incredible way uh this is the best way to know how batman impacts characters other than batman that i've ever seen this is such a brilliant issue beautifully illustrated by greg smallwood and beautifully written by tom king this book is perfect New book from Boom, that is a blast. Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, number one, Jason Aaron of Thor fame is crushing it in this new dystopian world that is weirdly playful and fun while being dark. Punchline, the Gotham game, number two. Punchline continues to be one of my favorite new characters, and this issue is no exception. I promise we'll catch up to date this week, but these are my favorite comics from that week. What are you reading right now?